I'd love to have you make a, uh, a, a Paul Newman appear. Can you do that? I can. But well, can you only make things disappear? I can make things appear and disappear. Ooh, oh, come on. How did you do that? Magic! Good morning, everybody. We are so excited to have an icon in the industry, the watch industry for maybe the last hundred years. We're here in beautiful Newport Beach to welcome a guy that's been around. He's fun, he's energetic, he's iconic. His name is Morgan King. And thank you so much, Morgan, for coming down to see us from Pasadena. We love you, man. Thanks for being here. Anytime Paul calls, I show up. Oh, thanks, Morgan. That's how it works. So, Morgan, you know, I've known you for a long time, but for those of the people out there that don't know you, why don't you give us, like, maybe the two-minute spiel on who you are and, and uh, so people know. I am originally from New York City, Queens, and when I was a senior in high school, my buddy, John, ended up going to Europe because his mother was working at the UN. And, of course, he went to oh, wow. Geneva, Switzerland. Oh, okay, And wow. in Geneva, Switzerland, there's only three things. Chocolate, Swiss Army knives and watches. And watches. This was 1993, 1994. Okay, all so. right. I had my credit card, and I was like, yo, I got some money. I got like $1,000. Oh, that's plenty of, plenty of money. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah. Um, little did I find out that wasn't enough. You can have the Swiss Army knife, and this one just came in. This one you would love. And this was a Tag Heuer F1. Yeah. Wow, racing okay. Yep. Good. See, the thing about us New Yorkers, we're very loyal. Yeah. We like to keep things for, for memory slash tradition yeah. slash heritage. And that's why I think you and I have this gene where we like to collect things that are old. We like the things that have history, that have some sort of like uh, provenance, if you will. You can't let it go. It becomes a, you know, a, a part of your, your persona. Yeah. You can't let it go. And every watch that I've sold, I've regretted. I've got the money. Not only is it double the triple in value, but now I've lost it. I've lost a piece yeah. of myself. So I, only on rare occasions will someone call me and say, will you part with that watch? They never say, will you sell me a blah, blah, blah. They'll always say, will you part with that 6263 or 6240 or 6200? Um, and when they put it that way, and I know it's going to an individual collector, uh, I'll make an exception. You know? Your collection, as it is, is exactly where you're supposed to be. Morgan, what do you got on? Can you tell us? So I have two watches, as always. First one is from B&D. It's our friend Victor Bernon from France. Uh, this is an homage to 1950s. I love it because it's got a patina. It's got the tropical feel, a little bit je ne sais quoi, sunburn, if you will. I love yeah. the brownish. Is eyes. that so, French? It is, <laughs> je ne sais quoi. And as you know, I wear two watches all the time. Yes, so I do know that, yes. So the first one on my left yes. side, that's LA time, and this is pimp time. Pimp time, you want to explain right that side. a little bit? Pimp time, well, we only really just need one watch, right? Of course. Your iPhone, your watch, it's, it's more of a style and design. But for me, I've always enjoyed wearing two. Just because it's like, if you can have two supermodels on your wrists or your arms, why wouldn't you? <laughs> right? Yeah. And uh, you get to uh, wear them in style and they, you don't have to worry about which one's your favorite. Yeah. They both are. But the one on your right is always the one that is for enjoyment. It doesn't need to be the right time. Otherwise, you will be late. Okay. So the left top side is always the correct time for LA time and the right side is pimp time. For the right hand, I have a Noor, a Noor watch. It's from my friend Babak. It's a brand new watch. I got it recently. It's uh, Noor is Farsi for light or brightness. I love it because it's also an homage to just, you know, how things used to be. Goes back to classics that has like a beautiful conservative feel to it. And of course, you have the sun, I which love is it. lovely. I love it. You've seen me. You've seen what I have on my wrist. Show and tell? Show and tell. Show me what you got, baby. Okay, well, I've got new and old right here. I've got new and I've got old or an old and new. Uh, right here, I've got a 6263. I love it. Gold, 18 karat gold. It's a beautiful watch. It just came into my collection maybe a few months ago but it's in mint condition. It's a great watch, I love it. This dude really loved this watch, you can tell. Yeah. Like he, he wanted someone to bring it back in case it got lost. Yeah, yeah so right. he put his name and he put his social security number, which today would be crazy to do, uh, but I'm surprised he didn't put his phone number. You know? If lost, please call. Oh, here it is, it's right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> this right here is a 5970 paddock. I've always wanted one. I finally got the opportunity to get one, but I only wear it like on a, you know, like a rare occasion, something special. Um, but when I do, it stops traffic. Mm -hmm. Do you have one in your collection? Or you I used, used to, to have one. I used to have one, but then I realized my uncle should be wearing it. I'm, I'm an old school boy. I'm from Queens, New York. 
I'm, you know, first line of generation of immigrants. I sadly can't wear something like this. These are just too nice. This yeah. is, this is, these are too pimping for me. That's why I wear <laughs> uh, more and more uh, blue collar uh, sports watches that are used as tool watches yeah. for me. But well, yeah, I make an exception once in a while, and those are two of the pieces I'll make See, an like, exception. See, like this matches you. Oh, so yeah. pretty. So how did you get into vintage? Tell me about the first vintage piece. This was right when I had moved to LA and I was in this watch store and this was back when the Tag Heuer Carrera re-edition came out. Sure, remember right? that. This was yep. like kind of like in the early stages in the, in the 2000s. Uh, this was back when uh, Panerai had the AMG series which kind of had the white and the black down. I, I was kind of drawn to that when I first saw it. But then right next to it was the Tag Heuer Carrera re-edition. Mm. And I looked at it, I was like, yo, what is this? But the thing that came to me is like, I love this watch. It's a chronograph function, it had the two registers, it had the three registers, but it's called a re-edition. Why is it a re-edition? Oh, because this is an homage to the first one. I'm like, there's an earlier one. Which one is that? This is a real one, yeah. It was crazy. So I would look at this and I'm like, oh, this is so much prettier. The ones from 1963, the 2447, the 7753, the Monaco's, or the, as Jack Quarry would say, Monaco. So you're in pursuit of this watch. You gotta have this watch. I, I got it, I know the feeling. Yeah. Well, part of it is the fact that they also came in different dials, right? Yeah. They had the Panda, they had the Reverse Panda, they had two registers, they had three registers, they had the square case, they had the circular case. Like, holy crap, like so many different variations yeah. back in the 60s. And as you learned about images and styles, then you learned about the history of that. So I know you're a Daytona guy, but, but you're a watch guy in general, but I know you love Daytona. I did not bring all the Daytonas. I brought, I think I brought some Daytonas. I Why? just have to check. Well, I saw an armored truck pull up this yeah, oh, yeah. oh, no, no, that's your truck, sir. <laughs> My truck is the one in the, in the Volkswagen Beetle that came out in the clown car. Ah, thank, thank you, Emily. Why, thank you, thank my you. dear. Now, of I'm course, dying. we need to show the Bob Watches back. Of course, of course. Thank you. That's how, we, that's how we do things. As you know, we are vintage guys, so we love the vintage line itself. So, so let's turn it over. Oh, let's my God. Some of this. Boom. And by the way, Rolex Daytona, R-O-L-E-X-D-A-Y-T-O-N-A, 57. Got May, it. May 7th. Should be Rolex Daytona Day. I love that. Let's do yes. that, right? Come on, five, everybody seven. wear their things. Let's do that. Rolls We're Daytonas. gonna five seven. Hoyer love Daytonas it. are allowed to, which no, is a deep yeah, cut. Okay. E U E R. Yeah, that ma the matches. Rolex Daytona, Hoyer Daytonas. I love it. Five seven. Yeah, there Done. we go. There, there we go. go. This one here is a six two six three Paul Newman Rolex Daytona. Amazing. Now, as you know, we have screw down pushers and we have pump pushers. Yeah. And with the pump pushers, you have 6239, 6241, 6262, 6264. Yeah. But with the screw down pushers, you have 6240, 6263, and 6265. Why yeah. do we have all those numbers in our head? We don't know, but that's what I have <laughs> tattooed on yep. the back of my But this is the neck. grail of all grails. 6263, would you say? Everyone loves this piece because it has like that contrast, right? The black yeah. bezel is just, it just pops. So that'll be in your collection forever, I'm guessing. It will be there until something replaces it. Because going back to what you said originally, when I, I don't really sell anything, I try to trade. Because when you when you buy something, you're really fully invested into it. Yeah. Unless something else comes and steals your heart. Yeah. I so love this it. was talking about trading. I traded this one. Ah, 2915 2, the first Speedmaster, Broad Arrow, right? Oh my god. Forget about it. Caliber 321. Great shape, it's perfect. I love it. What's the engraving in the back? 19? It says, I love Paul <laughs> of Bob Watch. So it's for me. Oh, I get to keep this. Forget about awesome. it. Awesome. You can't talk about the 2915 without talking about 2998. 299. Is that dash one or dash two? Or dash, dash two. Okay, I love These it. Sticklers. Why do you have to say dash one and dash two? I don't know. I'm just asking. Oh. You know, I just always love when I look at an old watch and it's all complete, original, and consistent. So sometimes you'll see a loom plot that's a little darker, a little bit lighter, or maybe the, uh, you know, one marker is just a little bit off. I love when there's consistency. The, the loom ball, you know, matches the hands as well. You know, exceptional, I love it. Hey, so Morgan, why don't we take a little break? I'd love to have you make a, a, a Paul Newman appear. Can you do that? I can. Well, can you only make things disappear? I can make things appear and disappear. Ooh. Close your eyes and think of Paul Newman. Okay, I got it. Perfect. Now, open your eyes. Okay. Right? Nothing's happened, right? No. But I have this little bag here. Okay. And in this little bag, you hear it? You hear it? I can hear it. I want to see it. Oh! It's a little Paul 
Newman. Newman. <laughs> Paul Newman for Paul, aka Bob. Is this special? Now, now that we broke the uh, the shade on this, as you know, all magicians need to have a mat. Not only for watches, but for for cards. Okay, right? all right. We have one red and we have one blue. Okay. Women are red because they're full of passion, love, okay, yeah, gusto. Okay. And men are boring and cold and quiet, right? And indifferent. Yep. Okay. Ladies first. We'll do this first. Now I want you to tell me when to stop the old. Stop. Tell me when to stop. Stop. Perfect. Now you told me to stop. At I any did. Time. Yep. Using your gut feeling. Let's see if this works. My name is Morgan King. Do you know how to spell King? I do. Spell it. K. K. I. I. N. N. G. G. It's voila. Well done, Paul. Come well on, done. come on. How did you do that? Magic! Do you like red kings or do you like black kings? We'll go with red. Ooh, red. King of hearts, as you know, the suits have different meaning. So hearts are love because you love watches. Yep. It's passion, you love your wife, you love your children. It's yep. the meaning of life. Yep. What is the brother of the king of hearts? King of diamonds. King of diamonds, right? right? Okay, yeah. Now, yep. you know what king of diamonds stands for, right? Right? Do you remember, like, what's the king of diamonds stand for? Tell me. Money, watches, Rolex, right, yep, you name yep, it, yep. So you have the heart, you have the diamonds, the clubs, and I have the spades. Now, spades, as you know, is what they call steadiness, command. Yeah. So I have passion, I have clubs, and clubs, as you know, is luck. But here's the thing, you have Bob's watches here, although you're Paul, you have every single watch imaginable under the roof. So I'm gonna shake your hand, and I'm gonna see if I could transfer some of that, what you have, to what I have. Okay. So you have diamonds, you have hearts, I have spades and I have clubs, by quickly touching the cards. We have such cards. Let's do that. What? Magic! So Morgan, you know, I've, I've seen a lot of your watches, not all of them, but thank you so much for sharing some of your prized pieces. But now you're in the inner circle because I'm gonna open my vault up. Well, okay, hit it up. Should I close my eyes for the big reveal? Should I do it? So, so um, we'll let you take a little peek here. Just a couple of goodies here that you might, you oh might like. Oh my gosh, my man. I think you're missing a couple of Daytonas. Couple? Six, two, four, one, tricolor. I missed you so much. Is that a thing of beauty? Isn't that great? Oh, this guy loved a tropical patina. Yeah, did you notice that one? That Come one on. came out of Mexico. Really? Yeah. This is gorgeous. This Isn't is that even. great? Isn't that cool? Some people just don't quite get or understand tropical because they're technically a damaged dial. It turned red, it turned brown or light green or whatever, uh, but you got to appreciate it because it's aged over time like we all have. They all tell a story. Yeah, they these tell are, a story, like, yeah. like wrinkles, oh. So we got to segue into this one right here because if Ooh. you're going to talk tropical, how do you not talk about this one? This dial used to be black. The sun is real, guys. That's <laughs> true. You will get burned. You got to put some, uh, some lotion on this. SPF 2000. Oh, my gosh. So that used to belong to an admiral. An admiral. An admiral, yeah. So one night, I'm wearing that watch, and I think you were at the dinner. We're up in Beverly Hills, and there was about 12 of us, all watch guys, at, at, a, at a dinner. And after the dinner was over, we're at the valet stand, and a big movie producer, I won't say his name, uh, said to me, hey, Paul, but we're waiting for our cars to come up. Can I see that 6200? And I said, sure, and I took it off my wrist, and I gave it to him, and he goes, oh, I never had one in my hands before. I said, put it on. So he put it on and he couldn't believe it. It was the look on his face, the enjoyment that he got from it was, in, was incredible. Can you see this? Look at the red triangle on this. It's like Isn't that crazy. Like if I ever was on a stranded island, you'd find me. Look at that. <laughs> Dude, the Tiffany doll, you got a Tiffany doll, six So we brought, we brought a Cartier and, and a Tiffany. So this is probably the only known, known Cartier Daytona that I know, that I know of, that I've seen. Now there could be more, I don't know, but when I saw this, when this finally came in, I said, it's a Cartier Daytona, I gotta have it. So I've got Tiffany Daytonas, but that's the only Cartier Daytona. LA time, um, Pim time. So I brought you one of each. Now it's LA time, Paul time. <laughs> this yep. is really a treat. Thank you for, thanks yeah, for having me, man. No, no, this no. Is... Morgan, thanks for coming down. I've wanted to do this now for years. I so got to see your prized possessions here, some of them, and um, mm. It's been fun, really. Thanks so much. Thank you, thank you for coming for the, down. Thank yeah. you for swag gifts. I yeah. really appreciate this. Yeah. Thank you so thank much. Thank you for my gift, my you know, my panda. I claim this, mine. Thank okay, you. Okay, it's all yours. Thank you. Thank you so Put much. Put it in the bag and yeah. take it away. See you later. 
pizza. We got pizza here delivered for you in your honor. Really? This is from Brooklyn. It's Tafara's Pizza, and this right here is from L.A., and it's from Prime Pizza, Prime and pizza. I know you've had Prime as well, so you've had Prime and Tafaro's. Mmm. Am I in Brooklyn? My gosh. <laughs> I feel like I'm in New York again. Prime. I had Prime. It's delicious. Mmm. You hear that? We mm. didn't get that with this one, though, did we? No. Mm. I think that same crunch. One bite. Just one? One big bite. Sorry, I had four. Paul, <laughs> forget about it. <laughs>